Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching guys how to actually fix your pack to loss and reduce input delay in Fortnite Season 4. Real quick, first of all, starts though. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We are trying to hit 33,000 subscribers as soon as possible, and I appreciate every single person that does sub to the channel and turn on notifications. One more quick thing is if you guys want to support me, since I am helping you guys out, giving you guys all these methods, please use code KDOG in the item shop because if I can help you guys out, I'd appreciate if you guys could help me out as well and just using code KDOG in the item shop. Without further ado though, let's get into this video and help you guys to be able to both fix your pack loss and reduce your input delay. Alright, so I got a bunch of different methods for you guys for both console players and PC players. I play on a console personally, so I have a lot of personalized methods for console players, but then also I have seen what a lot of PC players do since I do have a lot of friends that play on PC. So we got methods for both of you guys. The first one should be the most obvious one and it should be one that you've heard in all these videos is getting an ethernet cable or a Wi-Fi extender. I don't see very many people talking about Wi-Fi extenders extenders but basically what they do is it's like a middle point in between your actual router and then your actual console so it's like say you play in the basement like I do and my console is in my room and so my Wi-Fi extender is in my basement living room and then my actual Wi-Fi box is upstairs so kind of like transfers from the Wi-Fi box to the Wi-Fi extender and then to my console so it's just like a little middle point where it meets um, then connection gets stronger from there one of the tips that I actually have for you guys if you do have a Wi-Fi extender or you want to buy a Wi-Fi extender is make sure that you are getting one that is made by the same company as your actual Wi-Fi router so say for me I have a Wi-Fi router or my um, Wi-Fi router is made by Xfinity so I'm gonna get a extender that is also made by Xfinity if that makes sense to you guys just depending on whatever actual internet company you have make sure you are getting the Wi-Fi extenders that they do buy they can get a little bit pricey some of them I've seen are on the higher end of like a hundred dollars like hundred and fifty dollars but trust me they are worth it and you can also plug in an Ethernet um, cable like directly into your Wi-Fi extender to your console as well so if that is just an option for you guys and I don't see very many people talking about that but that is what I personally did for a long time and that really did help my internet speeds become better and for my ping to be better as well the next one is for my PC players out there is, is using exit lag exit lag is kind of a thing that I've seen like every single PC pro use pretty much um, that like live kind of farther away from the server because obviously once if you guys have an Ethernet cable but your ping is still high it's because you do live far away from the server if you play on NA central servers the exact server location is in Dallas Texas so if you do live like somewhere say maybe you live like New York or something you're probably gonna be stuck on like 40 to 60 ping all the time no matter how good your internet is that just depends on the server so what I see people do is they actually use exit lag and it actually reduces their ping by up to 10 to 15 um, every single time they use it I think exit lag might be a paid subscription service as well I've never personally used it since I do play on a console but I think it might be a, a paid one but I have heard from a lot of trusted people that it is worth it and it really does help them out exit lag is also known for um, removing packet loss so if you guys do have a lot of packet loss just use exit lag as well and it is um, known to actually help to remove packet loss just completely in general next up we got some things that you might have just like completely forgot is making sure that you're not downloading any Anything on your computer or your console so making sure like you don't have anything in the background downloading or like so say you're playing Fortnite and you notice that you start having pack loss out of nowhere and it's been going like that for a while but then you also have a massive update on say like a 2k game that's been going on for hours that could be a possible thing that you could get pack loss for since you are updating another game it is taking most of your Wi-Fi um, actual like database to focus on that update so it's hard for it to focus on another online game at the same time another method that sounds very very like simple and obvious but a lot of people don't do is just restarting your router and then completely unplugging your setup as well and then making sure you are waiting at least one minute before plugging each of those things back in so starting off with um, restarting your router just completely unplugging it leaving it unplugged for a minute um, check your phone to make sure that the Wi-Fi actually disconnected from your phone and then you can plug it back in from there because that's when you know it's like fully off and everything and then another thing is also just completely unplugging your setup sometimes your setup make sure everything's off obviously before you do that like you don't want to unplug it when the things are on still because that can actually mess with like um, your computer or your console or anything make sure you completely shut everything down and then unplug it for maybe one minute maybe five minutes just completely let it just be unplugged for a little bit and then just maybe let it reset from there and then finally a very easy setting that should everyone should know about by now is actually in Fortnite. it's just turning off your replays it's a very easy thing to do everybody should do that by now just go and turn off your replays in your game 
game other than that though if you guys have any other tips and tricks for people comment it down below in the comment section help some other people out that is pretty much all for today's video though if you guys enjoyed the video please guys let me guys are new remember we are trying to hit 33,000 subscribers by the end of the month and i appreciate every single person that has up to the channel if you guys will support me even more though you just wasn't code k-dog in the item shop hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys next time peace out just want to get the last kill bro Oh, 1v1. He's weak. He's weak. He's weak. He's weak. He's weak. Right there. Just goes on. You gotta go on. You gotta go on. Just shock her straight on him, bro. He's so weak. Just keep spraying him. Keep spraying him. He's gonna be like 90 HP. Keep spraying him, just spraying him, just spraying him. He's gonna go for... Nice, bro. <laughs> yeah. See, bro, I let you get that, bro. I had 14 kills, you had one, but at the end of the day, we won, bro. So what, what really matters, bro?